Welcome to my channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today. This is a general message from our Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you for your support, for every like, every comment, every subscribe, every share. This reading if you are new to the channel welcome 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 please subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button and that bell notification so you are notified of new videos if you are returning and haven't subscribed please do so as it is very important all right <clears throat> and obviously it's something here that you like so you can be notified of new videos as they are uploaded by hitting the bell notification donations are appreciated and welcome on this channel. The information is in the description as well as information on getting personal reads and to my Etsy shop, which has a whole bunch of stuff for you. Okay? All right. So we do have the towers. That wow, that was the first card out for you. Um after having the unicorn being unique, you have success coming to you, love, money, all of those things. Uh just keep hope. Uh you have been ending certain cycles in your life and there are new things coming holy spirit is telling you to not give up on love okay and that is in this tower something happened okay you could have been with a um king of swords or you could be in that energy cutting out people places and things that no longer serve you uh your intuition is top tier okay so there could have been things that you picked up in your energy all right we have the five of swords some of you are feeling defeated all right we have the Ten of Swords. Some of you are feeling like someone left you for dead, okay? Stabbed you all up in your back, okay? But the wheel is turning in your favor, uh, Capricorn. I mean, mm, I just did Capricorn, but maybe you're dealing with Capricorn. If you are, check out that reading. All right, um, Pisces, okay? You have been waiting for your harvest to come in, your ships to come in, uh, an investment that you have made in in love or in your career all right we do have the six of wands you are coming out in victory all right we have the four of wands you may need to rest and take a respite before you move on to another relationship take some time to heal all right um you may be feeling boat burdened if you live with this person maybe you have um, the bills now that this person has walked away on the bottom of the deck we do have the three of swords so there was some heartbreak uh going on you could be very spiritual with the high priestess card uh, we have the fool um you stepping out on faith or for some of you you could feel foolish dealing with this person but we do have abundance coming to you with the ace of pentacles wow 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 i do feel like in the past you have dealt with someone who breadcrumbed you uh, with the Knight of Cups, someone who came in really fast, someone that uh, had you had a lot of passion with and it burned out just as quick as it came, okay? That's for some of you, not all of you, all right? We do have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, so right now your finances could be affected or maybe the person who you were with, this Two of Cups, which is in reverse, so there's no love going on right now because of conflict with this individual, all right, we are going to uh, move. There were some harsh words spoken with the Page of Swords. Um, with you, with this person, this was not an easy ending, which is why Holy Spirit is saying don't give up on love. Wow. All right, so we're going to go to the Intuitive Empress deck. I mean, the Intuitive Guidance deck. This deck is on my Etsy shop. It actually does have a different uh, backing. This is like the test deck uh that i had in in the very beginning so i do use it um but check that out if you like this deck all right all right so you could be feeling trapped and confined um in a mental prison because again like i said a lot of harsh words were spoken at the end of this and maybe even um in the relationship this person was trying to talk you down uh, trying to make you feel like you're not as unique and special as you are. This could have been an Aries, okay? Or this could be you in that fire energy taking action. Oh, wow. So we do have a karmic masculine involved for those who are feminine. It could be a karmic 
feminine if you are a male take it as it resonates we do have a libra so this karmic person could be a libra um i do feel like overall you are going to have happiness this person uh was a hard partier they were not committed um i do feel that you are manifesting your soulmate as you heal all right and that soulmate could actually end up being a taurus or maybe you have taurus prominently in your chart or your person does. Hmm. We do have a Capricorn um, here um, in your energy. Uh, this could be a tarot reader. You could be a tarot reader, or maybe this Capricorn went to a tarot reader, or this Taurus about you. All right. We do have someone from your past that wants to reunite with you. I do not think that it is the person um, that's showing up here that's telling you not to give up on love. This could be a past. Someone from your past, maybe someone you were never even in a romantic relationship with. This person is being magnetically drawn to you as you do the work to heal. All right, anything else? Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of reminiscing nostalgia with this new energy that's coming in. Could possibly be an Aquarius. All right. On the bottom of the deck, we do have you going through a spiritual awakening, going through your life path and purpose. All right. Wow. Let us see what's brewing here for you. Hmm. So we do have a situation that is about to explode or may have already exploded. I do feel like that is your past energy. This person who got caught up with other people, places, or things. All right. But if you read the card for what it is, it's somebody who got caught up with someone else. All right. This person could have been keeping you a secret or keeping this other person um, a secret. Hmm. I will say be careful, my Pisces. I know how my Pisces are, especially when they get rattled, because we do have police involvement okay or possible police involvement so be careful of any conflicts at this time uh control your temper or this person may need to control their temper or does not manage their anger well um this is somebody again that's just really caught up in lust this was a love story once upon a time for you um wow wow Uh, yeah, I do feel like for many of you, you have chill vibes, you've been chilling, relaxing and maxing. I do feel like it's somebody in your energy that is not tired of the drama because this card did come out reversed. Okay, so this could be somebody who caused a lot of drama in your life. Um, this person is not attractive to you or because um, uh, attraction is in the reverse. This is someone who is turning you off big time. Um, you feel like this person betrayed you, um, that they were deceitful. This person is now in their feelings for whatever reason. Why are they in their feelings, Holy Spirit? They're in their feelings and, and coming back in, trying to come back in for those of you who separated from this person. I, I said I don't feel like that this person is coming back, but for some of you, this is someone, or this could be someone in the past that you felt betrayed you. Um, and they're coming back in. This person is very spoiled. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Or this person could have betrayed you for someone else. Who they went after and they were spoiled. We do have someone watching you. Could be the karmic energy. Could be um, the person from your past trying to see when to come in. Could be, um, could be the ex person. I, I guess maybe I said that because I don't want that ex person to come back just because of their energy. Um, this is uh, someone who uh, spends a lot of time getting uh, rooms, um, sleeping with different people because they are insecure about themselves. But they put on a show like they're very confident. I do feel like that this person may be coming in to fight for what they want, for they, uh, who they love. Oh, okay, for what who they love. What it is, is this person is not coming after you. This person um, does have someone else, but 
They're insecure. They're in ego and pride. They're with someone who's very uh, spoiled. Um, so for some of you, um, the insecure person is the karmic watching you. For others of you, this is the person that you were with that's only coming back now that someone new is in your life. And I do feel like you are going to be putting them in their place. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, there's someone new coming in. Someone from the past. Um, while this person is still fulfilling the fantasy, I, I feel like this person is very narcissistic. They feel like everybody loves them and uh, that you're holding the torch to them, that you're trying to make them jealous. Now, what they're watching you and they think that you're trying to make them jealous. All right, this is somebody, um, the person coming back in, that's the ex, that's the narcissist, that um, you will have to use um, sexual protection with because they have been with so many people. Um, this person uh, could have said that they were busy, stressed out, but they were just toxic. They were just poison to you. Um, I do feel like you're going to protect yourself and this is completely over. Wow. All right. Somebody at the door. Um, wow. All right. Give me one second. Pisces, um, this person is going to come in and act like, oh, they um, really do care about you with the I hate nothing about you card. But I do feel like this person is just for themselves. This is the second part because I had to answer the door. All right. So let's wrap this up. Yeah, this person did something unforgettable to you. OK, they did the un. Thinkable. All right. <laughs> and their lies are going to begin to be revealed and unraveled. All right. We do have a uh, take the L and learn from your mistakes and keeping it 100. I feel like you're going to be keeping it 100 with yourself. All right. You're going to take the L from this situation and learn from your mistakes. All right. And you're going to move on. All right. And you're going to keep it 100 with this person. This is why this person is going to be upset. So if you do have to take the proper precautions, please do so. All right. <laughs> Again, lessons learned. You have learned your lesson from this person. I, like I said, for many of you, I do not think that you're taking this person back. I do feel like for some of you, you may be trying to pray or a way out of this situation. Um, you have people like, oh, just take action, take action. Some things are common sense. But nobody knows your situation like you. And just, you know, um, you need to make sure that you're taking the right action. So to make sure that you are safe. All right. And then we have um, give to those who need it. Okay. And your harvest. You will harvest good things. It will be good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over because this person is going to come to you out of need. They may have been put out of the situation where they may have spent up all of their money and resources, but it's not up to you to save this person. OK. We do have the Lord will be your confidence and shall keep your foot from slipping. OK, keep you from going back because you for some Love is, is complex. So, you know, it's easy for someone to tell you to throw somebody in the trash and how you should be feeling. And for some of you, you may still have feelings for this person and there's nothing wrong with that. But um, you can learn your lesson and move on and love them from a distance. All right. Reverence the most high and his blessings will be on your food and water. He will take away your sickness. That's heart sickness as well. All right. Oh, we do have apologies coming. It could be from a fire sign. Um, and you could be someone who just likes fairness. But this person is unstable. They really are. Um, they have not mastered their emotions at all. I got cards flying all over the place. Why? Uh, I feel like, and that card fell on the floor. I can't find it. But War and Peace was there. Um... You are not stuck in this situation. Maybe you have children and this person wanted you to feel like you were stuck. There's the word peace card. See, we're in peace. Um, 
Mm. This person is feeling very uncomfortable right now because you are moving on. They thought they could always come back to you. All right. But you're bringing the good out of the good in your heart. It does not mean that you have to be foolish and let this person back in. Because <laughs> this person is a liar. That's been coming out. Unbelievable. So many lies. I'm going to I'm going to leave this here because I just. I don't want to focus on this person's energy. I want to focus on God telling you not to give up on love, that someone is coming in for you, but you are definitely going to be ending that cycle and starting something new, Pisces. All right. So thank you for joining me for this message. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.